Hey guys, I'm Buck Weezer. We're putting the do in the do-it-yourself and today's video is sort of just a fun one. I want to see if I can get the DR Power Wagon utility cart to go a little faster by installing a larger pulley on the drive shaft of the motor. So we're going to see. I love this utility cart. I featured it in other videos and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see if I can make it go just a little bit faster today. So let's get started. Well the first thing we're going to do is to see how fast it actually goes now with a three inch drive pulley and I've marked off two uh, a section of the yard a hundred feet long and we're going to see just how long it takes to drive the DR Power Wagon utility cart a hundred feet in its current condition. It's featuring this powerful five horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine from 1992. And we're gonna see just how long it takes to go 100 feet. All right, let's fire it up. Was exhilarating. Alright, now we're going to change out the pulley. I'll show you how to do that and then we'll race it again. Alright, so our pulley is held on with this bolt and it's also held on with a couple of set screws. and it comes off easily and our belt is loose to come off all right so now you got to go talk about this pulley compare it to the size of the new one and thereby calculate the length of belt we're going to need for our, our new setup okay so as i was mentioning you know if we're going to increase the size of our pulley our drive pulley then we're going to need a slightly longer belt right so this is our original drive pulley here. It's a three inch diameter. And uh, that's the measurement that we need to think about right now. So three inch diameter. And we are gonna up it to this pulley here. And he is, he's a five and three quarter inch diameter. So almost six, 5.75 inches. Now we could just guess, okay, so we our belt would travel around half the pulley you know and so we need a, a belt that's a, that makes up that difference the belt travels around half the pulley right so the 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 difference in the belt size is the difference between this distance or halfway around the circumference of the big one minus the uh halfway around the circumference of the small one 
Now you say, well, it's just going to be a couple inches. Yeah, so we could guess. We could go buy a belt a couple inches longer than what we had. And, you know, by trial and error, we'd figure it out. But we can be a little more precise about it. Because we can calculate very specifically this distance and subtract it from this distance. How would we do that? Well, we can calculate the entire circumference using the formula pi d, which is pi 3.14155, uh, 3.14, one five nine two seven we could go with times three and then we cut that in half so I got my calculator open so let's do it here three times three point one four one five nine two seven gives us nine point four two inches that's the full circumference of a three inch pulley but we're going to divide that by two because we're only our belts only traveling around half of that distance so that's 4.71 inches okay so our belt travels around this opening this three inch pulley a total distance of 4.71 inches all right so let's go over to this guy same thing 5.75 is our diameter so pi times 5.75 I got my calculator open on my computer here 5.75 times 3.1415927 is 18.06 inches now that's the full diameter around the five and three quarter inch pulley but we're gonna cut that in half also so we divide that by two and we get 9.03. So the belt that we need for the new guy is going to be the difference between 9.03 and 4.71. Are you following me? So let's try that with our calculator. 9.03 minus 4.71 equals 4.32 inches. So our new belt needs to be 4.32 inches longer than the original. So what was our original belt? It was it was a half inch by 83. So we need to up this to like an 87 or 87 87.5. I think I've got an 87 inch belt out there and that should get the job done for us. We're essentially increasing our belt length by four inches and it doesn't it's not an exact science you know I got that idler spring-loaded idler arm on there I think an 87 inch belt will do it. If not maybe we can find an 87 and a half but that's how you can calculate the difference in belt size based on your drive which drive pulley you decide to go with and you don't have to uh, just go at it blindly all right let's go install this pulley okay so let's put our new pulley up So in this case, I really do need the set screws because it's this doesn't hold it in place. The bolt itself doesn't hold it in place. I absolutely need these guys. Yeah. That's good. All right, let's get the new belt on. I uh, actually ended up putting an 89 inch belt on there. The 87 was a little tight. That 89 is a little bit loose. 
the Proudly 88 would be perfect, but the 89 is working for now. And uh, I think you're going to be pretty surprised and pleased with the results now. that was kind of fun and I think it worked out really well. I have to tell you when I was in fourth gear with full throttle going around a corner I almost fell off the seat so it's definitely picked up the uh, picked up the speed uh, significantly on this and it was just too slow previously you know uh, you can you can practically walk as fast as fourth gear would take you so now it's going to be a little bit more useful when you want to go slow and careful speeds one and two gears one and two will be just fine when you want to move a little faster and save a little time three and four are are going to be there so i'm happy with this experiment i know it was kind of silly i do thank you for watching and hopefully it was interesting and helpful to you i look forward to your comments and questions as i always do in the discussion below and i look forward to seeing you on our next video have a great day